the cycle brand is proud of the 5000 year old heritage of our nation and has centered the company's mission and vision around the same the cycle heritage quiz is an endeavor in educating the future of india on our glorious past our incredible architecture our diverse culture the great works of our literary legends and artists the courage of our warriors and freedom fighters the rich contributions of our scientists and many more aspects which make us a truly great nation after 18 exciting quarter finals we have our national quarter finals who will be engaged in a keen battle to make the national semi finals here are our participants for quarter final 4 first up from the price nagar english higher secondary school tiruvananthapuram we have rudashri r krishna hello rudashri welcome yes sir thank you and rudashri won the kochi cluster uh, this year and of course uh, as the followers of the cycle heritage quiz would be knowing she is also a defending national champion so rudashri how was your experience in the cluster final this year it was very nice and it was uh, competi uh, competitive very good the, and i'm sure you uh, my fellow participants in the cluster finals were answering the question as i think <laughs> absolutely correct and i think you can expect uh, the same level of competition today also because of course we have uh, national quarter finalists from all across the country all in school in kolkata we have arav chaudhary welcome arav hello sir and arav i think uh, you got through the cluster finals through a tie breaker so was that very nerve wracking for you <laughs> yes absolutely you got the vankade stadium question correct uh, so you seem to be decent in cricket you might have some cricket questions today so let's see how that uh, turns out so all the very best arun thank you sir contestant number 3 is from the srishti vidyashram senior secondary school in velour we have mohammad ayan ahmed welcome ayan hi sir and ayan won the coimbatore cluster round so ayan feeling confident of your chances today yes sir very good ayan all the very best thank you sir next from the mothers international school in delhi we have sumaya jain welcome sumaya thank you sir and sumaya uh, how was your experience you had a fairly straightforward passage to the national quarter final you won by a large margin so feeling confident of repeating the same maybe performance? sir <laughs> maybe okay so be confident uh, answer in a relaxed manner i'm sure you'll do well all the best thank you sir contestant number 5 is from the presidency school bangalore north he participated in the bangalore cluster and uh, this is avinash ashok welcome avinash yes sir thank you and avinash uh, you have already done one better than last year you have now qualified for the national quarter final so looking ahead yes, to the challenge today yes sir indeed great great So all the very best, Avinash. Hope you do well. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Up next, from the Mahatma Montessori Matriculation Higher Secondary School in Madurai, from the Coimbatore Cluster, we have Jhana. Welcome, Jhana. Hello, sir. And Jhana, you were very confident and you gave answers very fast uh, during the cluster final. So hoping for a similar show from you this time. Sure, sir. Absolutely. Jana, that's the spirit, and all the very best. Those were your six national quarter finalists for quarter final number four. Let's see how it turns out. It's time to go for round one, Lakshya Bheda. In Lakshya Bheda, let's take a look at rules. One question per participant. This round does not. Each question has four options. Each participant gets three attempts. Plus fifteen if you answer correctly on the first attempt. Plus ten if you answer correctly. on the second attempt and plus 5 for the third attempt we will start off with contestant 1 to so dashi here is your question the daemon vrita or vitra who was slain by indra using the vajra is the personification of what in mythology is it a drought is it b famine c plague or d greed sir is it drought option a drought option a drought let's click on that Very good, Rudashi. Perfect answer. Yes, Indra, of course, is the god of rain or thunder, and uh, that kind of brings to an end drought. So 
very logical answer there from rudashree draught is indeed the correct answer very good 15 points and we will now move on to contestant 2 that is going to be arav here is your question the famous hindi poet suryakant tripathi nirala was born in which present day state is it a uttar pradesh b haryana c bihar or d west bengal so is it c bihar let's click on c bihar sorry that's incorrect your next try sir uh, uttar pradesh let's click on a uttar pradesh that's wrong next try so b haryana let's click on b haryana no that was a tricky one he was born in west bengal west bengal from where you are uh, that's the correct answer no points for you are a tricky one but i'm sure we'll get some questions which you can answer in the next round let's move on to contestant 3 that is going to be ayan ayan here is your question ghondu pan was the real name of which royal who led the rebellion in kanpur during the war of indian independence 1857 Is it A. Tatia Tope, B. Bajirao First, C. Nana Sahib, or D. Nana Fadnavis? So option C. Nana Sahib. Let's click on C. Nana Sahib. Perfect answer, Ryan. Very good. Fifteen points to you. Well done. Let's now move on to contestant number four. Is Sumaya? Sumaya, your question. The Battle of Tali Kota, where Aliya Ramaraya was defeated by an alliance of Deccan Sultanates. Resulted in the decline of which empire? Is it A. Maratha Empire, B. Vijayanagara Empire, C. Sur Empire, or D. Chola Empire? So it is B. Vijayanagara Empire. All right. Let's click on B. Vijayanagara Empire. Very good, Sumaya. Fantastic answer. Fifteen points. Great quizzing so far by most of the participants today. Let's move on to contestant number five. Five is Avinash. Avinash, here is your question. In nineteen seventy-nine. Which of these famous tennis players won both the Wimbledon and the French Open boys singles titles? Is it A. Leander Pace, B. Vijay Amritraj, C. Ramesh Trishtan, or D. Anand Amritraj? Is it A. Leander Pace? Sure. Let's click on A. Leander Pace. No, that's not right. A little before him. So D. Anand Amritraj. Let's click on D. Anand Amritraj. That's not correct either. Your next try. Sir B. Vijay Amritraj. Let's click on B. Vijay Amritraj. Sorry, Avinash. I think you mixed up the eras a little bit. Uh, Leander Pace was a bit after Ramesh Trishtan. Vijay Amritraj was a bit before 1979. So this is Ramesh Trishtan, son of the legendary Ramanathan Trishtan. So no points for you, Avinash, unfortunately. But I'm sure we'll score in the next few rounds. Let's move on to contestant six. That is Ghana. A big electronic digital computer was installed in the India. Not correct. B, Let's UK. try. Let's click on B. UK. Last try. Let's click on A Germany. Sorry, none of them are correct. This is D USSR. Uh, Ural Mountains are of course located in that general region that uh, USSR or the Soviet Union was located in. Of course, the first while Soviet Union. So that should have given you a clue. But never mind. Uh, you will have plenty more questions to come. I'm sure you will answer them. Uh, so Dhana doesn't score any points in this round. So let's move on to round number two. That is called chikas. Let's take a look at the rules. One direct question per participant. This round passes clockwise. Plus ten for every correct answer, direct or on pass. Let's start once again with contestant one. That is Rudashree. Rudashree, here is your question. This city is referred to by various names. One of them is Kudal, meaning an assembly of scholarly people, referring to the three Tamil sangams held here. Another name is. Nan Mada Kudal, meaning the junction of four towers, referring to four major temples located in this city. Just name the city. Sir, is it Madurai? Absolutely correct. It is Madurai. Very good. The city of temples. Great answer there, Rudarshi. Let's now move on to contestant number two. Arav, here is your question. This spot in Haridwar is famous for its Ganga Arti. It is believed to have been built by King Vikramaditya in the first century BC. In memory of his brother Harthari, who had come to meditate here, name this spot. Fairly yeah, straight. Okay, out of passing. Ah, uh, let's move on to contestant three, please. Ayan. So is it Har ki Pauri? Yes, absolutely right. Well done, Ayan. It is Har ki Pauri. Ten points to you. Great answer. And now the next direct question will come your way. Ayan, here is your question. Humayu regained the territories he had lost from Sherpa with the help of the Safavid dynasty. 
a large number of noblemen from the country of the Safavids accompanied Humayun on his return. This also brought upon a major influence in art, architecture, language, and literature during the period. Which country were the Safavids from? Iran. Beautiful answer. I didn't expect you to get it this fast. Fantastic level of quizzing. Great, Ayan. You get 10 more points. And now we will move on to the next question for Sumaya. Sumaya, here is your question. According to legend, a hermit cured the local chieftain, Surat Sen, of leprosy. And in gratitude, Surat Sen founded the city in his name. Name the city that was the winter capital of the erstwhile state of Madhya Bharat. Jhansi. Not Jhansi. We will pass on to contestant 5. That is Avinash. Sir, is it Bhopal? Not Bhopal. Uh, we will pass on to contestant 6. And that is going to be Dhyana. Sir, no idea. Okay, passing. Pass on to contestant 1. That is to the Sri. Sir, is it Gwalior? Yes, it is Gwalior. Named after Gwalipa. Absolutely correct. Well done, Rudashri. 10 more points to you. And now we will move on to question number five for contestant five. And that is going to be Avinash. Paka refers to the sticky sugar syrup obtained by simmering sugar with an equal amount of water. For what dish invented by a chef at the Amba Vilas Palace is this specially prepared for? It should be fairly simple. Is it Jalebi? Not Jalebi. Uh, let's move on to contestant number six, Diana. Sir, is it Halwa? Not Halwa. Uh, let's move on to contestant number one, and that is Rudashri. Sir, it is Mysore Park. Yes, of course. Paka was already there. Ambavila's Palace is in Mysore. What else could it be? It is definitely Mysore Park. Ten more points to you, Rudashri. Very well done. Uh, let's move on to contestant number six. Ghana, here is your direct question. One of these famous scientist discoveries includes the relation between frequency response of the violin and its quality. The frequency response curve is named after him. He made his most famous discovery, collaborating with his student, K.S. Krishna. Name this scientist who also founded a famous research institute in Bengaluru. Very guessable question. Sir, I have no idea. Okay. Uh, let's move on to Rudashri. Sir, it is Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman. Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman. Showing your class. Yes, it is C.V. Raman. Well done. Rudashi, absolutely correct. 10 more points to you. I think you have had a great round. Let's take a look at the scores after round number two. So the scores after round number two are as follows. Rudashi, currently in the lead, 55 points. Arav, yet to open this account. We have Ayan on 30. We have Sumaya on 15 points. Avinash, yet to open his account. Dhyana, yet to open her account. We have two more rounds to go. Let's head straight. Round three, Trishanku. Let's take a look at the rules of Trishanku. One question per participant with three clues. This round does not pass. First clue is a statement with number of letters in the answer. The second clue, the first letter of the answer would be repeat. Third clue would be an anagram. Plus 15 if you answer correctly on the first clue. Plus 10 if you answer correctly on the second clue. And plus 5 if you answer correctly on the third clue. Let's start this time in reverse order. We start with contestant 6. That is Thiana. Here is your first clue. The town of Khed was renamed in honor of this revolutionary who was an associate of Bhagat Singh and Sukhdev Thapar. It's a two-word answer. First name is eight letters and the second name is seven letters. So can I go for the second clue? Sure. First letter of the answer will be revealed is S. So third clue? Third clue, the anagram. Sir, I have no idea. Okay, uh, no answers from Dhyana. This is Shivaram Rajguru, who was, of course, arrested or hanged along with Bhagat Singh and Sudev Thapad on 23rd March 1931, the famous date in Indian history where they attained martyrdom. So, this is Shivaram Rajguru. Sorry, Dhyana, no points for you. Uh, let's see if you can score points in the next round. Let's now move on to contestant number five, and that is going to be Avinash. Avinash, here is your first clue. The first volume of the Siddhanta Shiromani is named after the daughter of Hasra II. So you have to name the first volume of the Siddhanta Shiromani. This is an eight-letter answer. First clue. Okay, next clue. Okay. First word or first letter rather is L. So it's a Leelavati. 
Yes, Leelavati, absolutely. Well done, Avinash. You're on the scoreboard. Famous work on mathematics by Bhaskara 2. Leelavati is indeed the correct answer. 10 points for Avinash. Let's move on to contestant number 4. 4 is Sumaya. Sumaya, here is your first clue. This country won the Davis Cup, which is in tennis, in 1974. After India refused to travel to the country to play the final. Okay? So this country has a two-word name. First word is five letters. Second word is six letters. Uh, South Africa. Correct. South Africa is right. Well done. Of course, India refused to travel to South Africa because of the apathetic policies and ended up, of course, conceding the final. So South Africa won the Davis Cup that year. It was their first Davis Cup title. Yes, Sumaya, very well done. Well worked out. 15 points. Two. Let's now move on to Ayan. Ayan. Here is your first clue. This famous musician performed at the 2014 Nobel Peace Prize concert. Okay. Three word name. First word is five letters. Second word is three letters. And third word is four letters. Ustad um, Rahat Fateh Ali Khan. Not Rahat Fateh Ali Khan. Rahat Fateh Ali Khan, in fact, did perform at that concert. A is the first letter. Amjad Ali Khan. Exactly. Amjad Ali Khan is right. Well done, Ayan. 10 points to you. A valuable 10 points to lead. Yes, Rahat Fateh Ali Khan did perform at that concert, but of course it didn't fit in with the clue. So, well done. Uh, 10 points to you, Ayan. You continue your good run. Let's now move on to contestant number two, that is Arav. Arav, here is your first clue. A haveli belonging to this famous poet given to him by a physician is located in Gali Kasim Jan, Bali Maran in Old Delhi. Two word name. First word, five letters. Second word, six letters. So, Dadra Haveli. No, this is a poet I wanted. Okay. Let's now move on to the second clue. Starts with M. So, next clue. Last clue. Okay. Let's have the anagram. A-I Brazil G-M-H. Funny anagram. But work out the name of a poet from this. Text. I don't know. Okay. Famous, famous poet. Urdu poet Mirza Ghalib. This is none other than Mirza Ghalib. No points for you, Arav, sadly. Let's move on to contest one, that is Pradashri. Pradashri, here is your first clue. The logo of the Lucknow Metro features this monument. Two-word answer, first word, four letters, second word, seven letters. Okay, have to move on to the next clue. Can't give you so much time. Next clue, please. First word is R. Okay, last clue. Can't give you so much time. National quarterfinal will move fast. M A U R A wizard. Anagram should give you the answer now. I think she's just okay. This is the Rumi Darwaza. This is the Rumi Darwaza in Lucknow, famous monument in Lucknow, also known as the Turkish Gate. No points for you, Dudashri, but I think you are still in a very good position as we head on to round number four. Scores after round number three are as follows. She did not score any points in round number three, but she is still in the lead. She's in 55 points. We have Arav yet to open his account. Ayan has been doing really well. Ayan is in second spot with 45 points. We have uh, Sumaya, who did very well in the last round. She's on 30 points. We have Avinash, who's opened his account. Avinash is on 10 points. And Jhana is yet to open her account. Top two from here are going to qualify for our national semifinals. Let's see how it all turns out. In round number four, that is called Samban. Round number four, Samban. Let's take a look at the rules. One direct question per participant. Set of visuals will be shown on stream. The set of visuals will be connected by a central theme. Ten points for a correct answer. We will start off with contestant six. That is going to be Dhyana. Dhyana, here is your set of visuals. This I'll just explain this as an example. So this is an example question. The answer to this is Delhi. How did you get Delhi? Brahm Prakash, first chief minister. Arvind Tejriwal, uh, current chief minister. Nilgai is the official animal or state animal of Delhi. And you have the red fort, which is located in Delhi. Okay. So you will see a set of visuals. You have to connect it to a central theme. All right. Yeah. Let's now move on to your question. You have to connect. Sir, the Indian army. Can't give it for Indian Army. Uh, let us pass to contestant number five. That is Avinash. 
Yes, ça marche. Elles étaient secrètement. Not secrètement. Yes, Soumaya. Sir, uh, Major Somnath Sharma. The connection is not Major Somnath Sharma. Uh, we'll have to move on to third contestant, that is Ayan. Yes, Ayan. Sir, I'm um, Param Veel Chakra Award. Okay, and how did you get it? I don't really know. It just came in my mind. Okay. Yes, of course. These are Parambi Chakra awardees. Absolutely correct. Uh, 10 points to you, Ayan. Very good answer. Yes, uh, Sumaya helped you out a little bit by saying Major Somnath Sharma, which is, of course, the first person. That is Major Somnath Sharma, who was the first recipient of the Parambi Chakra. Uh, in the middle, we have Yogendra Yadav, uh, Pana Singh, and Sanjaya Kumar, who are the three living recipients of the Parambi Chakra. On the right, we have Nirmaljit Sekho, was the only person from the Indian Air Force to win the Parambi Chakra. So, of course, Parambi Chakra is the correct answer. Ayan, well done. You get 10 more points. Now, the next question is for Avinash. Avinash, here is your connection question. All of them are physicists. Not physicists. Uh, let's pass on to Sumaya. Uh, sir, hockey. You have to be a bit more specific. Can't just say hockey. Yes, sir, Olympics medal. Olympics medal. Okay. Uh, I think I have to pass on for a better answer. Uh, let's move on to Ayan. Major Dhyan Chand, um, England with hockey. Yes. Okay. You need to be more precise than that. Uh, we will uh, pass on to contestant two. That is Ara. Uh, the award. Not the award. Uh, passing on to contestant one, and that is Vidashri. Sir, are these captains of hockey, Indian hockey team? Correct. That's what I wanted. Captains was the key word. Absolutely correct. Captains of Indian hockey team, and they have also led India to uh, Olympic gold. Uh, you have Jaipal Singh Munda, 1928, uh, Dhyanchan, 1936, and Kishan Lal, 1948, which was the first uh, Olympic gold after independence. Correct, Rudashri, you get 10 points. And now we will move on to the next question. That is going to be a direct one for Sumaya. Sumaya, here is your question. Uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Ministers. Absolutely correct, Sumaya. 10 points to you, Tamil Nadu Chief Ministers, CN Anandurai, MG Ramachandran, and Janaki Ramachandran. So 10 points to you, Sumaya. Good going. Now let's move on to our next contestant. That is Ayan. Ayan, here is your connection question. You have to connect. Ravan. Ravan is not the connection. Uh, let's move on to Arav. Sir, I'm Ayan. Uh, need a bit more specific answer than that. Sir, there are yes, actually three brothers, sir. Uh, Ravan, uh, Komukaran, and the third one. I forgot the name. Okay, no, 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 no. That's not the correct answer. Uh, let's move on to contestant one. Uh, that is Rudashi. Sir, are these uh, Vishrava's children? Yes, correct. Absolutely correct. Vishrava's children is what I wanted. Uh, that is not Kumbhakaran. That is Kuber. Uh, that is Ravan. And that is Vibhishan. And uh, the other answer I could have accepted was Kings of Lanka. But yes, these are the uh, sons of Vishrava's. So absolutely correct to the she. You had 10 points. Good answer. Let's now move on to a direct question for Arun. Arun, uh, here is your question. The second one visual is definitely the biggest hint, probably, as is the third one. I think the third one also is a fairly prominent monument. So is it Sardar Vallabhai Patel? Not Vallabhai Patel. Not, not Vallabhai Patel. Nothing to do with either of them. Uh, let's pass on to Rudashri. Yes, Rudashri. Sir, Anishilan. Anishilan. Anishilan no, Anishilan that's not. Samiti. No. No, that's not the answer I was looking for, Udashri. Uh, we will pass on to contestant number six, and that is going to be Dhyana. Sir, I have no idea. All right. Uh, we'll pass on to contestant five, and that is going to be Avinash. No idea, sir. Let's move on to contestant four, and that is going to be Sumaya. All right. So this is actually quite much related to my school. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, the Mother's International School. So, yeah. Oh. Uh, this is uh, the mothers and the uh, Sri Aurobindo's ashram. Okay, so your what is your final answer? What is the connection? I'll go with uh, Sri Aurobindo and mothers ashram. 
Okay, I'll give it to you. Sri Aurobindo was the key word. So Sri Aurobindo is what I wanted. Uh, this is Onushilan Shamiti. Yes, Brother Shri, you are right. Uh, this is the logo of Onushilan Shamiti, where Sri Aurobindo was one of the leaders. Uh, this is the mother, where from where I think the mother's international school gets its name. So luck for you. Uh, this is Mira Alfasa, also known as the mother, who was a spiritual collaborator of Rishi Aurobindo Ashri Aurobindo. Uh, this is the Aurobindo Ashram. So, yes. Uh, correct. I'll give you the points uh, here. Uh, Sumaya, 10 more points to you. And now let's look at the scores with one question to go. The scores after three rounds and five questions of round number four are as follows. Rudashri has sealed her spot to the national semi final for the second year in a row. Rudashri is on. Only five points. Arav, not your day, unfortunately, so far. Uh, yet to open his account. Uh, we have Ayan, who's currently just holding on to second spot. He's on 55, followed by five points. Sumaya is on 50. Uh, we have Avinash on 10, and Jana yet to open her account. We have one last question. That's a connection question again. This time it's for Rudashri. Rudashri, here is your question. Okay, I have to pass you to the Shri. I'm sorry. We have given you enough time. I'm sorry to the No, sorry to the Shri. We have given you enough time. Given you a lot of time on this. Uh, let's pass on to contestant number six, and that is Jana. Sir, something related to uh, Mumtaj Mahal. Not Mumtaz Mahal. Uh, we will go to Avinash. Later, Shaja. Not Shaja. Uh, we will go to Sumaya. Yeah. Sir, Lahore. Not Lahore. Uh, we will pass on to contestant number three, that is Ayan. Uh, is it Pakistan? Not Pakistan. Uh, we will pass on to contestant number two, Arav. Sir, Lucknow. Not Lucknow. So uh, the closest answer that I got was Shah Jahan. It is not Shah Jahan, but it is Jahangir. Jahangir is what I wanted. This is, of course, Noor Jahan, the famous wife of Jahangir. This is Dilip Kumar, who played the role of Jahangir in Mughalaya. So this is the tomb of Jahangir, which is in Lahore. So Sumaya got it right there. But Jahangir was the common link between all of these visuals. So unfortunately, it is Sumaya who you just missed out by five points. So the final source after round number four of national quarterfinal number four are as follows. Uh, Arav Jhana, not your day, no points for you today, but it was a great achievement to qualify for the national quarterfinal because this is a national level competition. Schools from all across India have taken part and you did really well in your cluster final qualify. So very well done, Jhana. Avinash, again, 10 points for you, but not your day. But yes, last year you were in the cluster final. This year you made it to the national quarterfinal. You can improve every year, perhaps. So all the best. We have Sumaya, heartbreaking, just five points behind. Very well tried. Uh, you actually managed to answer a question based on the, your school name almost. So half century is a very good score for third spot. Uh, Sumaya, 50 points. Uh, I'm sure Ayan uh, was very, very nervous going to the last question. But the early answers really helped him. He held on 55 points. But winning this quiz... So holding on to second spot, Ayan, I'm sure you were very nervous going into the last question. But qualifying for our national side final is Ayan. Well done. 55 points. And winning this quiz is our defending national champion at the cycle heritage quiz. Rudashri Arkishnan, very well done. You win this quiz with 75 points. So it will be Rudashri and Ayan will move through to our national side final. Cycle Heritage Quiz 2022 is down to its quarterfinal stage. And things are definitely getting very, very interesting because there are a lot of high quality participants from all across India. And this national quarterfinal was no different. We had a defending national champion who sped off to a very early lead and kept on answering questions in every single round. So Rudashri qualified for the national semifinals in style, scored 75 points. For second spot, it was a very, very close battle. Ayan had the early lead, but Sumaya slowly but surely caught up and even hit a half century, but just fell five points short. 
So commiserations to Sumaya, congratulations to Ayan, but Sumaya, you're only in class eight. So I'm sure we will see you for future editions. Arav, Avinash, Dhyana, everybody, you have done a great job in qualifying for the national quarterfinals. So many students were part of your cluster. They had taken the preliminaries, then they went to the cluster finals, and you were part of the select two from your cluster who represented in the national quarterfinals. So very well done to all of you. We will see Rudashri and Ayan in the national semifinals. And we will see you, the audience, in quarterfinal five. Till we meet again, stay safe, stay happy, stay. Thank you very much.